Well, hello everybody and welcome to Saturday with It's Every Day in May. Just making sure the stream was coming along proper. Uh, and, and what we're going to do today, we're doing it as a live stream. Um, because you'll probably know that I started this live stream, or I started this challenge, um, three, four days into May. So I've missed three quiz challenges, or three days of challenges. So today's going to be a catch-up session where we go through the first, second, and third of May, all in one sitting. So doing a, doing a beer. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll just do a lightning round for Saturday and Sunday, just so it's easier for me to edit and put together. Actually, that sounds like it's going to be more work um which is annoying so put yourselves a drink jump in if you haven't done the first second and third of may already you can jump in or if you already know the answers feel free to yell them out at home just don't put them in the comment section i don't want any tip-offs uh, and we're going to get stuck into it once i maneuver my screen a bit ah oh, that's good we're doing a bit of landscaping out the back and a bit of manscaping as you can probably tell um let's shrink my camera down and bring the display up. Ooh. Boom, how's that looking? Okay, <clears throat> morning trivia challenge, May 1st. How many children have returned to schools and early childhood centers following the shift to COVID-19 alert level three? This is old news. Um, and I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do with this quiz because it's the first, I'm gonna, if I don't already know the answer, I'm just gonna pick the top one. I'm just going to do the top one for anything I don't know. And then I can't blame myself for being dumb because it was just, that's the rules that I set up around doing it. What kind of item is Smith & Wesson known for manufacturing? Well, I don't know. I would say sewing machines, but I don't know, so I'm going to go with the top one. Ah, firearms. Of course, that sounds about right now that I'm seeing that. Who's referred to as the Nine Days Queen? I'm going to go with the top one. <laughs> Not working out so far. What is a bibliophobia a fear of? I'm going to go with the top one. <laughs> Running out of reading materials. What is a goloswap? I actually think that's a lizard. Hey, I knew that one. And I got it right. See how that works? Manatees can spend up to eight hours a day eating. True. What did Harry Potter see in the mirror of Irizid? He saw his parents. Uh, what year was the Waiheni disaster? Was it 58? I, I actually don't know. I'm going to go with the top one. Ah, 68. Who did the Silver Ferns beat to become the 2019 Netball World Champions? I'm going to go with the top one because I don't know anything about sports. And it paid out. What is the small circular piece of paper that falls out when you use a dot punch called Chad? Hey, this top thing's working now. How many tests, oh, tests, how many teats does a goat have? I can't say I've ever counted. Uh, I'm going to say six, two, damn it. I was going with the top one because I actually didn't know. What is the area of restaurants and breweries in Upper Hutt called? Um, I should know, this is just down the road from me. It's not Kilburnie, because that's in town. Ah, oh, it'll be Rimatucker. Oh, come on! Brewtown? It's right next to the Rimatucker Hill. That's dumb. Which US state is known as the Golden State? California. How many golden medals did Jesse Owens win at the 1936 Berlin Olympics? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Kiwi Jack Lovelock won gold at the same Olympics in which event? I don't know either. Ah. Uh, 7 out of 15, considering I had hardly any clue of what to do with half of those, uh, and pure luck of just picking the first one and that was the answer. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good result. Um, I should probably keep a record of this somewhere. Just because I'm doing six quizzes. Oh, you don't need to see my record keeping abilities. Seven. Um, play, not play again. Center this one off nicely. more click down there we go uh what year was apple inc founded 
I'm gonna go the top one. <laughs> In Brian Adams summer of 69, why did the band break up? Freddie quit, Joey got married. Oh, Jimmy quit and Jody got married. Damn it, I should have read more than just the first one. But Freddie and Jody. That's what threw me. Freddie and Jimmy. I would have got that one wrong. In which item. Oh, sorry. Which item has some McDonald's store run out of after opening at level 3? I'm going to say beef burgers. I didn't know. I didn't know it was lettuce. That makes sense now. Uh, since it's in short supply. What apes are associated with Gibral Gibraltar? Gibral and I've butchered that. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's the chimpanzees, but I don't know when I said the rule was I was going to pick the top one. Oh, that's one I was going to pick because it looked cool. Tagalog is a language of which country? Again, I don't know. <laughs> so bad. What might you buy at British retailer Waterstones? Books. Okay. Who played the villain in the 1994 film Speed? <clears throat> um. For some reason, I thought it was Alan Rickman, but I must be mixing this up with uh, Die Hard. Remember the second film with the guy who put leeches on himself? I don't think it was Robert De Niro. I don't think it was Michael Doug Douglas. I'm gonna go with Christopher Walken. <sighs> I don't even know who that is. I'm sorry. I should have picked the first one at least. Stay true to my values. Where in Australia is Bundaberg? I know it's on like north of the Gold Coast, but I don't know what the name of that state is. Is it Queensland? Yeah, there we go. Which alcoholic export is Bundaberg known for? Rum. Hey, I love my rum. What does the term physical relate to? Um, income tax? Oh, cover my money. It was the first one. Again, I should have picked it. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not sticking to my values very well, am I? Uh, which of these Latin phrases means solid earth? I'd say terra firma. Because it's terra. What sport do the Green Bay Packers play? I don't know, baseball? American football. Pamela Anderson was born in Canada. I'm gonna go with the top one. Ah. Which novel features the ship Hispaniola? Hispaniola. Uh, I don't know, so I'm gonna go with the top one. Treasure Island? Ah, come on. Collins is associated with what type of publication? Dictionary. I knew that one. 5 out of 15. Yikes. That's the wrong keyboard. So, so far we've got... <laughs> so far we've got 12 out of 30. So we're going to move on to the 2nd of May. Usually they're a little bit more lenient on the 2nd day. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his partner Carrie Simmons have welcomed a baby boy. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that one. Um, great, thank you. In which language? Well, gracias is Spanish. Is it not? But then it, Portuguese and Spanish are very similar. I don't even know what that language is. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a very, uh, not very learned. What command do you type in the command line to make a new folder in Linux? I have no idea, so I'm going to pick the top one. Okay, cool. How many years of marriage have they celebrated? They've, they haven't celebrated five. I'd put it at seven years, I think. Nine! Jeez, okay, that rolled by, didn't it? Traditionally, what is given as a gift on the ninth anniversary? Uh, I don't know. We don't do tradition. Oh, pottery. There we go. What is the name of... Oh, sorry. The name shared by all the kings from the house of Lancaster? I don't know, so I'm going to pick the top one. 
see, you're noticing a pattern here. So I think stuff's quite lazy where they just put in the right answer and then they just go, whatever. Um, Exodus is the book of Moses. Ooh, pardon me. Which bird lays the largest egg? The kiwi, the emu, the ostrich, or the cassowary? The kiwi lays a pretty big egg. But the ostriches are, you know, they turn them into clocks. In the 1993 film Carlito's Way, who played Carlito? I've never seen this film, and I'm going to pick the top one. Al Pacino. I apologize, Al Pacino. What type of animal is a Cornish Rex? I'm going to pick the top one. <laughs> it's a cat. In which century was Michelangelo born? We got tripped up with centuries twice already this week. I'm going to put him on the 15th century. Oh, thank God. Which country has Ankara as its capital? Is it... Is it Estonia? Oh, I should have known that. For some reason I was thinking of Istanbul. But that's not the capital, is it? And that's a Nissan because that was my first car. And I could get to school and back on $2 petrol, which sounds not that good, but considering I was like 30 k's away from my school, so this is a good little, good little car there. Who had a hit in 1991 with The End of the Road? I don't know at all. I don't listen to any of these artists. But I'm going to pick the top one because that's the rule. Damn it. Of which US state is Nashville the capital? Nashville, Tennessee? Yeah, here we go. So eight. That's an improvement. We've gone up one from the morning quiz wrong keyboard again um let's have a look at the afternoon quiz for the second uh these characters feature in which game it looks like roblox a terrible terrible game um oh, we're just gonna center that a little bit more the coroman strike novels are written by jk rowling under which name i thought her name was james duncan for her, her cover name. Ah, pff. okay, my bad. Where in the body are the avioli? I have no idea. Oh, sorry, Al alveoli. Alveoli. Um, I'm just gonna go with the heart, the lungs. Well, mine, mine are misplaced. What does the Italian word penne translate as? Ooh. Maybe it's straw, because it's hollow. Flutes, they're not really fluted. Or tubes, perhaps. But then cannelloni are tubes. Oh man, there's so much good pasta out there. I'm going to say uh, quills, really? I suppose quills on a porcupine are hollow. Um, which of these is not a Cluedo character? Mrs. Peacock, Miss Scarlet, Reverend Green, and... Colonel Horseradish. I didn't... Okay, Reverend Green was jumping out at me, but I don't think that is one. Because it's Colonel Mustard. That's, they didn't even try to make it sound legit. The fighting Temerary painting appeared on which English banknote? I'm going to go at the top one because I don't know. My bad. Who starred alongside Mark Wahlberg in the 2012 film The Fighter? I was, um, that was Christian Bale, wasn't it? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen that movie. Oblix. Uh, who was nicknamed the Maid of Orleans? Hmm. I'm going, I don't think it's Marie Curry. I'm going to go with this one here. Joan of Arc, okay. Oh, because New Orleans, sorry, New Orleans... I got thrown off by the whole thing. The pump used in land-based oil wells is called a nodding... Canary? Just because I think of... It's the top one, first of all. And I also think of canaries in mining. Donkey. Okay. Doesn't make sense to me. Inventor of the Ferris wheel. What, um, what nationality was George Ferris? Hmm... 
It's a weird surname. I'm going to say American. Oh, hey. A whiter shade of pale was a hit for which band? Hall & Oates, Chicago, Pink Floyd. I'm going to just go top. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Uh, the phrase down and out is taken from which sport? I would have said boxing. Which two main ingredients make up a banoffee pie? Banana and toffee. Not banana and coffee, thank god. What is unusual about the 2014 film Locke? There's only one character who speaks to himself. There is no dialogue. Um, I don't know, I've never seen it. I'm just going to say... The top one. Okay. Seven. So, we're already doing better. We're remembering which keyboard to use as well. <clears throat> so, for the whole day, what is that? That's 15 out of 30. We're crawling up. <laughs> Hopefully, the third was better. We're in the world as Mullet Fest held each year. About <laughs> New Zealand again. Um, Pittsburgh, USA. I'd say... I'd want to say that I would have heard about it if it was happening in Upper Hutt. Um, though it does sound like the type of thing that would happen there. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh, USA. Ah, okay. Of course. Australia. Oh, jumping jump quizzes there. What is the most populous Scandinavian nation? Denmark? Ah, of course. Well, are they still? Because they're not doing the COVID thing. <laughs> Which of these is a prime number? I don't know prime numbers. I'm just going to pick the top one. Okay, cool. What is the most populous Muslim nation? My feeling would have been Pakistan. Oh, wow. I did not know that. How many races need to be held in Formula One season before it can be considered a world championship? Just go with the top one again. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Which side of the Queen's face is set in the back of the New Zealand coins? Um, oh, geez, this is because it's her bearing and she looks that way. So that's her right side. Yeah, we, we got there. If you're going to a bibliothèque library or just a library you'd be in which oh i see what's going on i see what's going on there uh i'm gonna go germany <laughs> how many people die from malaria each year worldwide go with the highest number yeah the central otago town of nasby 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 lies closer to the equator than the south pole Central Otago town. That can't be possible, can it? I'm gonna say false. Oh, thank God. Hey, look at it gives you a little. Well, it's roughly 45 degrees south of the equator. It's a halfway point. Okay, cool. An anagram of the word sleuth is defined by which of these? Sorry, an anagram of the word sleuth. Isn't an anagram where? You can read the word, yeah, no, backwards, or is, she's lost. <laughs> to trick or swindle somebody, to help a child, to hide, to disappear. I would have said, I would have thought to, do they mean a synonym of the word sleuth? I'm lost here guys, I'm going to just pick to disappear, to trick or swindle somebody. Oh, the anagram. <laughs> I see what you're doing here now. I think that either I'm just dumb, which I completely would support that, or uh, it's with this haircut, yeah. Um, <laughs> or that was a poorly written sentence. Which of the following is not a Spanish speaking country? Why do they have the one stock image for every language question of these two people sitting in the woods burning some evidence? You know, what are they burning? She's got a very condescending sort of head tilt going on as well. I don't like it. Which of these is not a Spanish-speaking country? Brazil. Because Brazil speaks Portuguese. And I learned that 
pardon me, I learned that from The Simpsons. So you can learn stuff while having a good time. New Zealand money is minted offshore. Ooh. Ooh. Our money is minted in Canada. Look at all that pink and purple. That's another episode from, uh, another quote from that same episode of The Simpsons. The last emperor of China died in what year? I'm going to put it quite recently. I'm going to put it here. I don't know. I don't know much about Chinese history. Ooh, hey, I know one thing now. Complete the lyric from the killer's Mr. Brightside. Come out my, I've been, I'm coming out of my shell. Coming out of my cage. <laughs> Not when I sing it coming out of my shell do they have a closet back there <laughs> i missed that which of these is a synonym for asylum a safe place i think it's a safe place here we go nine we're cl climbing up there we got nine that time um we got seven eight nine for the morning quizzes so my prediction is we're going to get we've got five seven we're going to get nine for the afternoon one hopefully for may the third uh, and that'll be my highest score yet which will be incredible and you guys get to witness it live um except i don't think anyone's actually watching no not at the moment which of the following terms describes a slow musical tempo i'm gonna pick the top one i didn't know that which opera singer sang at the wedding of prince charles and princess diana in 1981 i don't know this either so i'm gonna pick the top one uh Kerry, how many psalms are there in a Christian Bible? I'd say there's a lot. Who wrote the novel One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Oh, I'm pointing towards this one. No, K's threw me off. Botanically, capsicums are a fruit. I'm going to say false, and the reason I'm going to pick false is because their seeds aren't inside the flesh. They are in a, mind you, my kids are so loud, an apple doesn't have its seeds touching it either. So I'm actually, I'm going to go with the top one because I actually don't know. Hey, there you go. Who was voted the greatest leader of all time according to a BBC poll? It was a BBC poll. Maybe it was Winston Churchill, but I'm going to go Abe. Ah. Hmm. Show them my ignorance there. Kokopo, Mount Hagen, and Lay are in which country? I'm inclined to say... Papua New Guinea. I don't know why. I don't know what drew me to it, but it was right. Who wrote the books that the TV series Shetland is based on? I don't know, so I will pick the top one. Damn it. Who was the Prime Minister of New Zealand in 1979? Ooh, was it Muldoon? He came in he came in, in the 80s. Who was it before? I'm just going to pick him because I don't know anybody else. All right. Who was the skipper of the team, oh, sorry, of Team New Zealand when they won the America's Cup in Bermuda in 2017? I don't know that doesn't sound right didn't he die wasn't he killed by pirates sir peter blake i'm gonna go with the top one and i'm wrong again which term is given to an artificial limb prosthetic what are the names of the two children that featured in the popular kfc ad in 1975 i don't know mike and molly hugo and holly who was old Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols? Oh, sorry, who who was old? How old was Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols when he died? Was he part of the 27 Club? 21. That's sad. In 2017, a Palestinian judge banned what during Ramadan because people make hasty decisions when they're hungry? Um... Maybe it's marriage proposals. Divorce. Close. Jimi Hendrix trained 
as a dentist. I don't know. I'm going to pick the top one. A paratrooper. That's cool. That's sick. Five. My prediction was way off. That was uh, 14. <laughs> 14 out of 30 for that one. Um, not a good turnout so far. That was, that was pretty abysmal, really, uh, as far as overall scores go. I'm just going to bring me back into full swing here. Whoosh. As a transition transition shot thanks guys for jumping in and watching this episode and, and and playing along tomorrow we'll do a quick fire uh and then i don't know if you heard that on the audio that was my ankles clicking they do that sometimes uh <laughs> sound like an old man this is coming off tomorrow and then tomorrow i'm going to do a quick fire round with saturday and sunday um going from monday i'll try and bring some more themes into this uh if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments i'd love to hear what kind of themes you'd like to like me to do i'm thinking of a doing a shot every time i get one wrong but that could be a bit messy um anyway unoriginic signing out here thank you very much for jumping in now i have to do the thing with the outro and make that play and you guys will all be impressed with that so here it comes right i want to taste your content hold your breath and feel the tension devil's hide behind Redemption, honesty is the one